just so we all have proof. Cleats, water, phone, wallet, keys, mouth guard, battery, pants, girdle, undershirt, leggings are currently on right now, knee pads, gloves, to protect my little finger, not necessarily need for the cold, but uh, I've been awake for four hours. I've had a butter sandwich. <laughs> two cups of my, two of my cups of coffee, about half a liter of water, and two olive oil, which I'm still finding pieces in my teeth. Thank you, raisins. Oh, yeah. We're gonna try to make a thing of this. Like I said, it's two hours and I, I just, I have, like, unless I'm curled into a little ball, having an absolute panic attack somewhere along this line, I'm gonna push on through. Because going to practice will tell me physicality what I'm doing. Oh, the wind. Second, the socializing afterwards will give me a fair bit. I have had Aaron and General Jet on WoW. The occasional butcher, the baker. Um, that's about it. A few comments here and there through December. I've been relatively isolated, so. Oh, this is not good. I'm, I'm gonna try to chill. I'm gonna try to chill. But that tram ride was over the top. So full. Am I agoraphobic? All of a sudden, I. I'm gonna chill. I got minutes. I got a few minutes. The train isn't even supposed to leave for 15 minutes. <sighs> okay, I'm still in Amsterdam. Apparently. No, so, but the train I was on got cancelled. And right by the time they realized that they, the thing was canceled, the sprinter already left. So I'm already going to be half an hour late to just everything. And I just, I was already stressed beyond all fucking belief. I had a pulse of 130 sitting there on the train. I don't know if I can continue doing football if it's going to be like this. I'm over. It's over the top. It's so bad. I didn't have this for a month. And all of a sudden now, and it's all tied to football. I'm so sorry. I'll have an explanation later. I, I told Aaron that I need to talk this out. I can't talk this through. This, 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 this is fucked up. And I don't know what's wrong and I need to talk it out. And my therapist is helping me with other things. But I don't have enough people in my life to talk this through. So, there will be another bit of this vlog in a couple hours when I've talked this out. Maybe had a nap, had something to eat, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. It's four o'clock. I've been... I've been home for about three hours now. not. Aaron and I talked through the problems. We didn't just try to find bandages for it. I'm trying to figure out what causes this. Is it going to practice? Is it being at practice? Is it the, the physicality? Is it the, the breathing problems? Is it the fact that I don't have control over the transportation? 
Even before the train was cancelled, I was already having high anxiety, and my anxiety... This, this whole practice season has been just... Uncontrollable. I think the medication is doing something better for my general life as a whole. But Aaron and I made the little joke to each other that the reason why so many guys go to the gym and lift heavy weights is because they're fighting away their demons. Yeah, well, what happens when they get medicated and they don't have to fight and they don't have any demons to fight away anymore? It was the best of. There was a bit of novelty that came with playing football at first, then learning the sport by playing it, talking with Willie, practicing it, changing over to linebacker, shifting to something a little bit more physical, moving to Europe, getting to play in the European leagues, being a linebacker in an international game, having camps and games in different countries, playing against teams, learning strategies bilingually. And there was a bunch of novelty. And then, you know, the corona hit. There was a lot of break time. There was a lot of Yes, but it happened. Um, and then we got back in, and I had another shoulder injury, but was doing good with, you know, the team and getting hits in. You know, had soreness of joints and all that jazz. And got back to the gym, was lifting weights after the physio, and lifting heavy and going to practices, but then general anxiety started kicking in of whatever it was. It wasn't performance anxiety. It wasn't anything. It was just something kicked in that almost like I don't need this. And that it was that I it turned out that I was picking the lesser of two evils. You know, after the novelty wore off, it turned out that I was... Okay, it explained many months, before, a couple months ago, that I was... Feeling... I was going and fighting through the feelings because the other side felt worse. And now, the other side doesn't feel worse. Because the other side is, is medicated. The other side is... You know, my pre-game jitters. Like, the New York Boral that Aaron and I went to our very first time, or second time, or something like that, there was, a, there was an after. We had a practice and then afterwards. But there was, like, a train problem. I had a sprinter problem or something like that. Construction at Mount Report. So we wound up having to take a bus. But I didn't realize that the bus was going to take 90 minutes to just to get out to Hill for something, let alone the bus out to practice. And by the time we got out there, after taking the leisurely stroll across the whole countryside um, of Nord Holland, we practice was almost over and I had a breakdown in the cantina and then we stuck around afterwards and stuff that was the first one the second one I went to on my own 
And that was fine. But this... This one was weird. Mike, it's 4.10 right now. You guys probably didn't see that. I'm not going to turn it back on. And it's just... Practice is over. And everyone's in the cantina having beers. And I could have... I could have caught the next train. And went out there. Probably need a longer break. I don't know how long. I look real fat with that. Yeah, obviously I like going to the gym. I like talking to the guys at the gym and stuff. I'm gonna be going back to the gym. You know, the coffee's good, the socializing's nice, the lifting the weights is nice, because it's, it's, it's fun. You know, if anything, I get to walk on the treadmills that <coughs> crank way up. I don't get to do that much anywhere here for any length of time. Yeah. <sighs> Plus, some of those exercises help with bike riding. But right now... And like many guys have retired before and come back for one or two games and then went, oh yeah, I'm old. But right now, I don't... Every time I try to go, it seems like I have an anxiety attack. And what it's come down to is it feels like there's a repulsive force on the field that it's no longer... a safe and familiar place. And so... That's what this is gonna be. I thought this would be different. But I've had a couple months to figure this one out and I'm just... We're going to go with steady state right now and see if life changes in any way.